Hello designers and welcome to another tutorial with me, Tim Evans. Today we're going to try and build a house in 8 minutes, so let's get started. First thing first, we're going to make a new project. So under our projects, we're going to click new and we want an architectural template, project and OK. So this is going to load up for us and then after this, we're going to add a wall. So we're going to start with our walls of our house. We're going to use the rectangle tool to ensure that we get all four walls in a few clicks. We're going to make a wall it's about seven meters by seven meters, roughly. I'm just going to click to place it. And if I zoom in, because I've gone from left to right, you'll notice that the internal plaster is on the outside of our building. So we're just going to go around and we're going to flip these around by clicking on the walls and using these little flip icons. You can also use the space bar. It has, does the same thing. After this, we need to add our windows. So we go back to our architecture tab and we're going to add some windows. So we're going to click on window. Now I don't want to use the basic one that's loaded in. So I'm going to load in a Revit one. And if I jump in here, this is the standard Revit files that come with Revit. I'm going to add a window and let's add a, a double plane window. I'm going to click open and I'm just going to place them around. This, as you can see, as I place them, depending on what side of the wall I click on, I'm going to click on the outside of the wall to orientate the window the right way round. And I'm just going to add a few going round. Okay, so there's my windows. Now they look a bit small, so I want to change that. So I'm going to click on my window. And if I go, say, to the largest one, I think I want a window that's a little bit bigger, so I'm going to make a custom size. The way we do that is edit type and we want to duplicate it so we don't want to change the original and we're just going to make a window that is 2200 millimeters i'm going to click ok and then i'm going to change my width to 2200 click ok and there our window automatically updates and we can do the same for the other two so I can hold control to select multiple and I can go for a different size and this one down the bottom say I actually want to use a single window instead I can come in and I can just select that so now we've got our windows in we need to add in a door so in our architecture tab again we're going to click door and after that we're going to load the family in because I don't want to use the two that are already loaded in so we're going to load in I'm going to come back to my UK folder. Now you might have metric or or imperial. It doesn't really matter for the purpose of this. We're just trying to experiment and see what we can do in eight minutes. So I'm going to select doors. I'm going to add an external door. And this top one looks okay. An assembly. And I'm just going to place it down here in the bottom right. Bottom left, sorry. So now I've got this, I want, might want to move the door slightly so I can select it and using these temporary dimensions, I can change this to meet what I want. And say I want this window to always be central between the door and the wind and the wall, we can do that by adding a, a dimension. So under our modify area, if we go to our modify tab, we can add an aligned dimension. I can click on the edge of the door and get this line pop up. Then I want to select the middle of the window because it's the middle that I want to orientate. And I want to add the inside of the wall. Now you'll notice that I've only got a dashed line appearing in the middle and I can't hover over the internal wall. So if I push the tab key, you'll notice then I can click on it. Now to make these uh, central, what I can do is I can again click on the dimensions. I can click on this little EQ I both say EQ and now you'll notice that our window is central to our dimensions. I can delete the dimensions if I don't want to keep showing them and if I click on constrain it will always forget the constraints that we've just added or if I click OK it will keep them so if I was to move my wall you'll notice that our window always stays central. So let's just undo that push the wall back and now we've got our door We've got our windows, our walls, so we need to add a floor. So I go back to my architecture tab. I want to add a floor. 
and I'm going to pick all the walls that I want to associate it with. I'm going to use the basic floor ground suspended and I'm just going to click on all four of my walls and you'll notice it puts it to the core as we can see there and then I'm just going to click the green tick and there's our floor. So now we've got all of that the next thing to add is our roof. So we can do that by going to the next level up, level one and while that loads up we want to add a roof so I'm going to click off or click escape to cancel everything and then I want to add a roof so and our architecture tab again I'm just going to click roof and this time I want the, it to be offset from the wall so I'm going to set our overhang to 200 because again we're working in millimeters and then I'm just going to click all of my walls you'll notice if I was to hover over the inside of the wall beforehand I can place the overhang on the inside or the outside obviously we want it on the outside so I place this all the way around if I want to change which pitches are sloped and which are not I can select two of them and untick to find slope that means that the slope will only start from these two end ones and I'm just going to click the green tick and would you like the attached to attach the highlighted walls to the roof yes we're going to click OK and then we're going to jump into the 3D view. So I've jumped into the 3D view using this little house icon up in the top quick actions toolbar and you'll notice we've got our house already. So we've still got a few minutes left so we can improve this a little bit. So I'm going to change the roof type so I'm going to select it and I'm just going to select a different type of roof and I want to have a slightly different eaves detail so we can do that by changing the rafter cut. I'm going to select two cut plumb and you notice it squares it off but I want to extend it down again. So if I put 200 into there and now you've got we've got a more conventional eaves detail and we just need to lower our roof because it is a little bit high. So we can do that by going into our elevations in our project browser and if I select west that's going to load up and now we can see the level that our roof is associated with. I'm going to drag this level out to the side. So again, I can't seem to select the level. So I'm going to hit the tab key until I can select it. I'm going to click. And then I'm going to use this little dot intersecting the line and the circle. And I can drag this over to the side. And then I just have to click on the 4000. I'm going to change that to 2700 and automatically our roof jumps down and if we jump back into our 3D view here we have our house thanks for watching we'll have another tutorial coming soon